Hello, I'm Stuart Tepper. I'm a professor of neurology at the Geisel School of Medicine in Dartmouth, and I'm director of the Dartmouth Headache Center. Neuromodulation devices, through some form of stimulation, get into the brain and turn migraines or cluster headaches or other headaches down. Some of these devices can terminate attacks of migraine or cluster. Some of them can prevent migraine and cluster similarly to a daily medication or to Botox and some of them can do both. Three of these devices are FDA approved and I thought I'd start with those and show you them and talk a little bit about each one first. And then I'll show you several more devices that are in development at various stages for acute or preventive treatment of headaches. If you had a device that could terminate a migraine attack without a drug, why wouldn't you try that first if it didn't have side effects? If you had a device that you could turn on twice a day or three times a day and prevent your migraine or prevent your cluster headaches without a drug, why wouldn't you want to do that before you took a daily medication or before you came in every three months to get what we call onabotulinum toxin A, which is Botox. I think you might much prefer, uh, many people would much prefer a non-invasive neuromodulation device to a medication or 31 injections every three months. The first one that was approved by the FDA, technically it's called the transcutaneous supraorbital neurostimulator, and everybody calls it the Cephaly device. And the Cephaly device has, is now in a second generation. So this is the Cephaly 2. And the uh, Cephaly device comes with electrodes that have to be purchased separately. And these electrodes are peeled off and then put on the forehead. And then the device has a magnet which connects the device to the electrodes. And once this device is on the forehead, then anybody who wants to use it turns it on. There's a press button right there. And once it's turned on, it's programmed to stimulate the supraorbital nerves, which are right here, and the signal of the cephaly device goes into the brain. Patient wears this for 20 minutes, and then it turns off automatically. And over, if they wear it for 20 minutes over three months, 20 minutes a day over three months, gradually the number of migraine attacks goes down. The second device that got approved by the FDA is this device, which is called a single pulse transcranial magnetic stimulator. And as I said with the Cephaly device, that was the second generation of that device. This is the third generation of what is sometimes referred to as spring TMS or STMS for single pulse transcranial magnetic stimulator. I'm going to turn it on while I talk about it. This device is a magnet, so it stimulates using a magnet rather than an electrical stimulation. It's ready to go. Now if I work this, I put my thumb on it, I hold it by the dimples, I put it on the back of my head, I press one of these buttons and you'll hear it. And that was the magnet being discharged. Now when a magnet gets discharged to the back of your head, you don't feel anything. So once again, this is a minimal risk device. The third device is called a non-invasive vagal nerve stimulator, or NVNS. And the brand name on this one is called GammaCore, which you can see right there. GammaCore was approved by the FDA for the acute treatment of attacks of episodic cluster headache. And the way the gamma core device works is it has these electrodes and the patient applies gel to the neck. I'm not going to apply gel to my neck and turns on this device. And if you feel your pulse here, your carotid pulse, and put the device on either side of the pulse and turn it on, it can be programmed to cycle 
and stimulate generally for two minutes. So it's kept on for two minutes and then it's rebooted and then it's done for another two minutes and two cycles is one treatment and that is what the FDA approved for terminating attacks of episodic cluster headache. Those are the three non-invasive devices that are currently FDA approved. And as I said, two of the three, the Gamma Core and the Cephaly device are electrical, and one of the three is magnetic. This is just the beginning. And what's in development are a variety of additional stimulators, some of which are non-invasive and some of which are minimally invasive that may be used for these disorders, both acutely and preventively. One of them is this device, which is called Nerivia Migra. And Nerivia Migra is a remote controlled, non-painful stimula stimulator. And I'm gonna open it up for you to see. So this pulls out and then these peel off. And you can see it's got some electrical devices inside. And then it's put on the patient's arm, it sticks right on there. And the way that the device is turned on is through a smartphone app. So once it's on the arm, the patient takes a smartphone app, turns on this device, and it stimulates electrically for 25 minutes. And uh, the way they describe it, it has different pulse widths, so it kind of oscillates on the arm, but not painfully. And it's used during a migraine acutely to terminate the migraine. So this is another acute uh, neuromodulation device to terminate migraine. The last of the non-invasive neuromodulation devices that I'd like to talk about is called a caloric vestibular stimulator. And I have it over here in this suitcase. I'm not going to take the whole thing out. It has a computer system and the actual stimulator is, the stimulation is delivered via these prongs that are placed in the patient's ear like headphones. Okay, and then it can be turned on here. This is also called the Scion device. And what this device does is it heats and cools the vestibular nerve inside the ear. And it rides the vestibular nerve into the brain and gradually turns down migraine frequency. The last thing I'd like to show you is a minimal, a minimally invasive device. This is a device that is placed by a maxillofacial surgeon or a plastic surgeon or a neurosurgeon through the mouth and screwed into the skull above the teeth. And when this device is in place, this end is over an area outside the brain in the skull called the sphenopalatine ganglion, or the SPG. This is an SPG stimulator. Now notice, it doesn't have any wires that go outside the head. It doesn't have any batteries. Once this is in place, this device is triggered by a remote controller that looks like an iPhone. Person puts it on the cheek, and that connects with this and turns on the stimulator. The point at this juncture is that a lot of the specialists who take care of headaches have no experience with this at all because it kind of came out of the pain area. But that doesn't mean that it's very hard. It's not. And it doesn't mean that it's not effective. It is. And it doesn't mean that we will all won't be doing it shortly. I mean, I'm hoping that's the way this goes.